G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Not too long ago, I made honeycomb. Now there, it's very easy to make and it's really delicious. And I was thinking, well, what else can you do with honeycomb once you make it? So join me today as I make my version of a delicious honeycomb cheesecake. Now we're going to start this cheesecake off by making the base. So into a mixing bowl, I've got 250 grams of biscuits or cookies, and I've just put them through a food processor. But if you don't have a food processor, just put them into a Ziploc bag and bash them silly with a rolling pin. And then to that, about 150 grams of melted butter. And we're just going to mix that through until it's all well combined. Next I have a spring form pan that I've lined with non-stick baking paper and given a quick grease. So place our biscuit mixture into our pan, just even it out. And using the base of a flat cup, we're just going to compact it all down. And once done, we're just going to place this in the fridge while we get started on the cheesecake. So for this step, I have a quarter cup of water. So into that, I'm going to sprinkle in two teaspoons of gelatine powder. Now, if you can't find gelatine powder, just Google alternatives. There are plenty out there. And we're just going to let that soften away for about three to four minutes. Okay, so next I've got about 200 grams of good quality milk chocolate. And we've just broken it up. And now we're going to place it into the microwave on high. And we're going to place it in there for 30 seconds at a time and stir in it each time until it's completely melted. Okay, so while our chocolate is cooling down from the microwave, into a mixing bowl we're going to place in 500 grams of softened cream cheese and to that half a cup of sugar. Now using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're going to beat this for about four to five minutes until it's nice and creamy and the sugar is dissolved. Okay, so as you can see that's nice and creamy. So to that we're going to add in 300 mils of thickened cream or whipping cream. Next, our gelatine mixture is softened up and I've placed it in the microwave for 20 seconds, which made it into a nice liquid form. So we're going to pour that in. And then our chocolate. And now we're going to mix that through until it's well combined. Next, I have some choc honeycomb. Now, if by some chance you can't buy honeycomb in your area, I'll leave a link down below on how you can make your own at home. And also leave a link down below on how to make your own butter too. So I've placed some honeycomb into a Ziploc bag. Now you can do this in a Ziploc bag or you can do it in a food processor. But if you do it in a Ziploc bag, just bash it silly with a rolling pin. Just until you can get nice and fine pieces. So just simply place our crushed honeycomb into our bowl and we're just going to mix it in. Now that we've poured our honeycomb on top of our base, we're going to place it into the fridge for about three to four hours to completely set. Now I've taken our cheesecake out of the fridge. It is completely set. And what I've done is I've crushed up some more honeycomb and just placed it on top for extra decoration. So all together, this cheesecake was very simple to make. And I know if you love honeycomb, you're going to think this honeycomb cheesecake tastes simply delish. So honeycomb and cheesecake put together, mm -mm, that really makes a perfect combination. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.